Hello, everyone. This is Stephen from Sympathy Nerdy, and I'm joined today by Anthony. Hello, everyone. Now, Anthony, the internet has been screaming and screaming and screaming. Where is the next Nintendo Direct? Well, there's a rumor going around. Exactly. (laughs) Um, There's been a rumor going around that there will be a Direct this month, which to me makes sense. But uh, to clarify, there was a post on the Japanese Nintendo website just today showing another Nintendo Direct um, that hasn't happened yet. Supposedly that happened last week before the Animal Crossing Direct. And a week later, they announced the Animal Crossing Direct. So does this mean that we're getting a Direct a week from now? I mean, let's keep our fingers crossed. It's been way too long since the last just general Nintendo Direct. This is, uh, as many people have been pointing out, the longest drought since, uh, you know, basically the beginning of the Switch. I think the last official one we had was back in September, which is not great. I I hadn't heard about the Japanese Nintendo website that's... uh, that kind of has a lot of weight to it. Yeah, that, that's that's a much bigger deal than the, the rumor I saw. I mean, it was... <clears throat> well, it, it's just uh, some leaker who evidently isn't super prominent at this point who was suggesting that we were going to be seeing news about Breath of the Wild 2 specifically and that from his source that... Uh, his or her, I guess, I, I don't know. Um, they said that um, there was going to be a, a trailer uh, like another trailer that kind of picks up after the the events of the the last trailer that we saw, and kind of fills in more details. Oh boy! And uh, then suggests a holiday 2020 um, release date. <laughs> Woohoo! Now, dude, heck yeah! I, I'm all for that. <laughs> yeah, I think this was uh, um, an article on I want to say it was Inverse. Um, the they they were pretty skeptical about the idea of getting it holly tw- holiday 2020 and I'm probably agreeing with them on that front. I'd love it, of course, if it came out that soon, if it was ready, but, uh, <clears throat> I, you know, this, when, when we have this little time left before holiday 2020 for them to, you know, actually start announcing things and telling us more about it, uh, it seems unlikely, but um, the, uh, the other factor about the Nintendo Direct um, they suggested it had a lot more cred, and you know now that you've talked about the J- Nintendo Japanese uh, website, that makes me pretty hopeful. I don't know, Anthony. Like, what are you hoping to? If there is a Nintendo Direct next week, what are you hoping is uh, showcased in it? Well, <clears throat> first and foremost, of course, Breath of the Wild 2. There's nothing that's stopping them from actually giving us more information on the game, whether or not it's coming out as soon as we'd like. And in fact, it's very long overdue. So you know th- that's. Do you think we'll get a release window? Maybe not a date, but like a window? Maybe, I, I could see maybe a window, but not a date. I would be I shocked agree. if they had that. So I agree. So that's the number one for me. Um, I also would like more information slash teaser trailers on uh, on games we, we know are confirmed for this year. Uh, the first and foremost for me being Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Honestly, right now, that's kind of the big one that's on my mind. I know there's a handful of others, but uh, they aren't as much on my radar. But I think that uh, overall... No Metroid? Where's Metroid? Well, of course, Metroid, but we know that... I'm we... hoping to see Metroid, but yeah, you know, it, 4 has been, you know, delayed, as we all know. And I don't think we'll see anything on that. No. That's no, all no. I was going to say. I'm th- hoping, maybe, we could possibly see... Cause Supposedly Nintendo's had the HD trilogy in their pocket for a while. Maybe they could finally give us a date for that. Give us some kind of Metroid to play while we wait, you know? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I think the one that maybe... I could see the trilogy, although I feel like I've never heard anything about an official, like, suggestion that's actually a real thing. Um, Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but that seems like it's been a lot of, you know, wishful thinking with maybe a few... uh, um, more reputable leakers behind it. Um, I haven't, I haven't kind of followed that one quite as much. But the one that maybe I would be hopeful for, as far as Metroid, would be the rumors about a 2D Metroid. Again, you know, that's probably in the same position. But you know, I could see that being something that could come out pretty soon. Um, you know, at least compared to the development cycle that they would need for something like Metroid Prime 4. You know, so as far as Metroid goes, I would be hopeful to see even just a a teaser about, you know, a 2D Metroid if it really does exist. But beyond that, I don't know if I dare let myself hope for (laughs) more than that. 
So what else do you hope to see, Anthony? It, it, I think it's uh, time for them to give us more information and trailers on the, the other confirmed games, things like No More Heroes 3, um, Bayonetta 3. These are, are games that aren't as much on my radar, but I think it's important that they put more information out on that, so I think I'd like to see that. But honestly, the biggest thing for me that I'm really hoping for, if this Direct is really a thing, is I'm hoping that they, they have a bunch of previously unannounced titles that they can lay out for us for this year. Well, we need that. The only title we know we're playing this year is, what, Xenoblade Chronicles and Animal Crossing? Well, actually, even, even Xenoblade Chronicles doesn't count as a first party. Like, if you're talking about first party, then basically it's just Animal Crossing. So I feel like, I feel like as far as the third party docket goes, it's, it's decent. I mean, it's maybe not the most solid year that, that we have so far, but, you know, Nintendo of late seems to want to keep things close to the chest. I, I think that they've taken it too far this time. It's been too long, and I'm starting to feel like uh, I, I, I can't grant them as much clemency. Like, to this point, I've been kind of optimistic. Oh, like, oh, Nintendo, you know, they, these days they just, they, they really like to wait till the last second. But now I'm like, okay, do they really have anything to announce? Because this is taking longer than it should. Like, they're drawing this out way too much if they actually have something to announce, which they had better. I totally agree. So before we before we end, oh, uh, I was just gonna say I think the the one you know if we're talking about hopes and predictions as far as like announcements for this upcoming year, I think it would be wise for them to say something about how they intend to compete against the next gen consoles. Okay, that's not what I was gonna say, so let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a really good idea, but it doesn't sound like they're going to. Well, I I think I think uh, yeah, and when I say compete, I don't necessarily mean rolling out another console at the same time as them. I just think that they need to say, here's what we're going to do to keep ourselves relevant. Um, it, you know, Nintendo has liked to dance to the beat of their own drum for a long time, but uh, you know, there's there's certain times when battle calls, and you know, if they don't answer, then they're gonna get a sword in the back. So you know, <laughs> you know, if they don't have a console on the way, they need to tell us how else they're going to, you know, to stay relevant. So, I'm you hoping You know what the best way for them to stay relevant is this holiday season? What, uh, Zelda? Yes, sir. <laughs> that would certainly help. That is that is the answer. Dude, are you kidding me? A sequel to the, the greatest Zelda game of all time and the sequel's coming out. Like, that competes to me. Yeah, I would agree. You should say what you were going to say, though. Super Smash Brothers DLC fighter. Why don't we get the first fighter of the next pass? Oh, yeah. Is, is it too soon? No, I don't think so, as long as they have someone ready. I'm not saying like two or three, I just mean one. Just one little trailer at the very end. Doesn't even have to have a release date or anything. Just be like, mm -hmm. here's the first DLC fighter. Especially if they have a, a, a really strong <coughs> character to announce. Hopefully they've hopefully they've taken Steve the Steve from Minecraft! Oh. Oh. No, I, just, <laughs> I know a lot of people really want him, but I have, I'm not excited. I have a lot him. of I have a lot of friends that want Steve. I have to admit yeah. though the the stages would be really cool, probably. They could do some really cool things with the stages, but I don't know how excited I am for Steve, but he would be, he'd be okay. He would certainly I would, be unique. I, I can admit that much. That would be solid though. I was going to say, hopefully they, they have, they took the hint and decided to actually fill this second DLC pack with, you know, entirely with fan requests because for the most part, the characters have turned out to be pretty cool, but you know, there's a number of those where like, we didn't ask for this. Why, why did you do this? Ugh. Are you talking about Sora? Oh yeah. Well, if they if they have if they can get Sora in and if they announce that that would be a really that would be some really positive PR. Because didn't you show me like a picture or something where Sora is like the most highly requested Smash character right now? Uh huh. Yeah. Or something like that. At least in Japan. Yeah. But I think that. Uh, oh, in Japan. That's right. At least in Japan. But I think it's uh, he's pretty highly requested worldwide. Come on, Disney. <laughs> yes. Don't be punks. <laughs> Anyway, you heard it here first. Disney's a punk. Oh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, Big Red. Big Red Nintendo. We got to hear from you. Yes. Please. This has got to be true. Give us something. You want to know what we're playing the rest of the year? Okay. Well, some of you want to know what you're playing the rest of the year. I already know what I'm playing for the rest of the year, and it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> but the rest of the world needs to know what they're playing. Yeah, we definitely just need, kidding. We definitely need more I need than to just too. that. Even if it is solid. Anyway, you heard it here first. Let's just tell us what you guys are hoping for. You know, if if you think this direct is real, <laughs> what would you like them to announce, and what would be your 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 dream announcements for this upcoming year that you think are either 
uh, reasonable ones, I mean like the, based on things that we've already learned or just, you know, wild guesses or wild hopes. Let us know just, down in the comments below. Yeah. Let's all keep our fingers crossed though that this is a legit thing because it's time. Big Red, it's time. Did you hear what Anthony said? It's time. Anyway, you heard it here first and until next time, keep it nerdy. <laughs>